Hey friends, welcome back to Oso Farm. Today is another day in the life. We're gonna bring you along. It is January 3rd and we, or I just took a polar bear. Bear, come here. To the vet and I'm now covered in white hair and slobber, but it's a good day. He did good, he just had to get a booster shot. So we are headed home. It is 8.25 and it is our second day back at school. So we're gonna get, I'm gonna rush back and hopefully they're about done with math by the time I get home. Medicaid would not approve one for him and we need one because he doesn't have a lot of stamina to walk. So if we're going anywhere like the mall, the zoo, a doctor's appointment, yeah. he actually refuses to walk. He's like a flight risk. So we're really excited. This will open the door for us to go and do more things as a family. So we're trying this one out to see if it's the right fit for him. That uh, leg, that comes down for the feet. This? Mm -hmm. Pull forward, I think. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Now put your feet down. Then it has a buckle, so you can't run away in a store. Huh. That is, I feel like you can. Uh, it's an adult size, but it's actually a small adult size. <laughs> so room to grow. Do you like it? Yeah. You want me to push you around? Yeah. What about like neighborhood riding? How do well, I got the neighbor? bigger wheels for the feet here. The brake is here, so pull that out. So there you go. That's and that's the brake. Oh, hold on, Evan. We're at the mall. We're at the zoo. Is this fun? Yeah. Yeah. I think it'll be okay. It sits pretty low. Yeah, but for, for, from pushing. I mean, so when we tried to go Christmas shopping with all the kids, he's actually too big. He is too big for a cart to sit where the kids sit in the front. And then if he sits in the back, it's not very safe because he'll stand up and then there's no room for anything. And then a lot of places just don't have a cart anyways. And so we got really discouraged. We went into Barnes and Noble and he totally had a fit and he was hard to lift up and we felt really just overwhelmed by it. So if he's in a stroller, I'm throwing a fit, we can easily and safely and quickly get him out um, of where we are. And I think he'll be more comfortable. He's 50 plus pounds. And when he's fighting you, like not wanting to do something, it's really hard. Like I physically can't carry him to a doctor's appointment if he just refuses to walk. So this is going to be a huge blessing. Um, that, that comes off. You can take it off. You can take it off. I think we're going to keep it, right? I think it's a good fit. And yeah. if he likes to sit like that. So we kinda... will, this is a transport chair. It's not really a wheelchair. Um, so even if you have an adult that needs assistance, I, we can link this below. Um, I mean, there's not really, we were using an umbrella stroller last year and he was way over the weight limit and it, the wheels would turn, it was terrible. So I'm really excited. We'll have to go to go somewhere to try it out or we can walk the neighborhood. We have paved roads in our neighborhood, but there's a lot of gravel on them. We live out in the country also. So you think these wheels will be okay for that? 
Yeah, I mean, they're rubber, so they should be. You want to go on a walk with Daddy later? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, previously, Evan has Medicaid because of his Down syndrome diagnosis. And previously in the state of Texas, their Medicaid would approve a child's wheelchair for issues like flight risk, safety, stamina. And it just changed last year to where if your child could walk 10 feet, which isn't that far, then you would not qualify for any sort of seating device. So we are thankful to have bought this. Say thank you, Daddy. That was such a good, a good call. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. I think it's a good fit. I mean, it's small, but you know, he's got plenty of room to grow and the way that he sits, he can sit there and- Sit Indian style sit and Indian there's style. not like a yeah. something here that would prevent him from being Mr. Flexible. Yeah. Something else? You want to tell him how you got your sticker here? Yeah. For counting 10 ants in school today? And look, mommy got one because we wanted to match. Okay, good job. All right, buddy. Yeah. Catch yeah. you later. Okay, yeah. bye. Bye, friends. Okay, it's actually the next day. I meant to vlog yesterday and it was crazy. So, the night before yesterday, we, and I don't, I don't know if I shared this in my intros, we ended up taking Evan to urgent care because and he was diagnosed with strep. So, Yesterday, when I got home from my doctor's appointment um, and was feeding him yogurt, all on the inside of his mouth, like lips and mouth, looked like thrush, like a different kind of body rash. And so I had sent a message to the doctor and said, this is what happened. I took him to urgent care. Don't know if this is strep or not. Because last time he had strep, he tested negative, And then a week later tested positive. And then he always breaks out with this full body rash. So I was like, what is happening? So I ended up having to take him to see his primary care doctor yesterday afternoon. He did not have strep. So he didn't test positive at urgent care. They just diagnosed him with strep anyways based on the way his throat looked and the scarlet fever rash. So he was like, no, he doesn't have strep. It's probably viral. Anyways, so I was exhausted because I had been trying to do homeschool, rushing to my appointment, rushing home. Evan was fussy and then back in town to the doctor. And for us to go, in town to these appointments it's 30 solid minutes one way so though on the way home yesterday it was about dinner time and Evan scream like through a massive fit for 30 minutes straight so by the time we got home I was so frazzled he ended up falling asleep at 7 15 he was so miserably tired just lethargic didn't feel good um, without his sleep meds. So if you have been a friend on here for a while, you know that Evan Ray does not sleep. A lot of people with Down syndrome suffer from sleep problems. So we were like, oh my gosh, do we wake him up? And then Brian had actually been thinking that sometimes when Evan's sleep meds wear off, that might initially be what wakes him up. So we were like, let's test the waters. So last night, Evan woke up at 10 30 11 and was awake until actually he came into our room fell back asleep and then woke up at like 2 and we finally turned on cocoa melon in our room and didn't fall back asleep until 4 
and then slept until seven. So really from like midnight to four, we were awake, not sleeping. So this morning I woke up and was like survival mode, make a huge pot of coffee. Um, I just came in town just on the brink of town, just over the twin bridges. That's over Lake Waco. Um, to my hematologist to give more labs and I'm actually done on my way home so by the time I get home we should have like another two solid hours of homeschool all that to say I did not vlog anything we are so tired and it's just so hard <laughs> to just stay when I'm tired it's really really hard for me to be motivated to do things especially as a homeschooler when I could be like, well, let's not do that today. So I'm trying to push through. On another note, I wanted to share with you that as a family, we are doing a major reading challenge. Like it's an individual goal, but we are trying to put our phones down, not watch TV, especially in the evenings and read, read aloud as a family and read individually. So my goal, hold me accountable, is 60 books, for 2023 that are not school related. Like we read a lot for school, but I'm not counting those. Um, so the first book we do for Christmas, um, something I want, wear, need, and read. And so Santa, AKA Brian, bought me this book, Marilla of Green Gables. If you are an Anne of Green Gables fan, which I am, uh, it has probably been 15 years since I read the books, but we watch the movies probably every three or four years. Um, so this is obviously from a different author, but is Marilla as a child. Precious, easy read. I'm kind of already heartbroken knowing the outcome that Marilla actually never ends up getting married, but just, it's just fun and sweet and easy and mindless. So if you are looking for a read, I will link this below. It is Marilla of Green Gables by Sarah McCoy. I'm really enjoying it. And I started it on December 26th and I'm 167 pages into it. I've been taking it with me anytime I would pick up my phone, like at a doctor's appointment or something, I've just been reading instead. Um, in the evenings, when I climb in bed, when I start to read, I fall right to sleep. <laughs> so that's not really the best time. And then I've had, a, not there's absolutely nothing wrong with reading, but I haven't given myself permission to like in the middle of the day to be like, I'm just going to sit and read for 30 minutes. So that's what I need to get to is where it's like, okay, this is just a break in the day. So that's kind of been a fun thing. So I'm going to head home. We're going to go on a walk tonight with Evan's new wheelchair stroller that we showed you. And, um, this is, we're kind of, we're doing the no spend um, eat through the stockpile and I'm also kind of following along with Tiffany at Large Family Love. Um, so this is like eat at home day four. I think it's January 4th. So um, tonight we're having sheet pan dinner which is just like sausage. I'll show you as we make it. Um, I just so I set the sausage out from the freezer and um, we have some leftover wild rice from last night. And I have so many things to grade, Lord help me. So I'm hoping we're gonna go home and knock out some homeschool, have some reading time, have a nice dinner, and then when we get back from dinner, instead of picking up my phone or watching TV or reading, I'm going to grade mainly science things. So let's do it, let's head home. Just a little short on the arms. Ooh. Our pond is really, really low. All those white rocks on the edge, the water was used to be all the way up there. Hey. It's still very hey. pretty. I'm coming. Love. I'm coming. Okay, so we, I went ahead and got dinner in the oven. This is gonna be kind of wobbly because I'm walking. But all I did was I took a red onion, some butternut squash, a few um, red potatoes that I needed to use up, 
two big sweet potatoes, a green pepper, and I think an orange pepper, and some sliced sausage from the freezer and just put it on a sheet pan for a sheet pan meal with some olive oil and then some of that buttery steakhouse seasoning from Sam's Club and turned on convection oven because it's already after five. I'm way behind here. Oh, you hear the geese? We're trying out his new stroller. Slow down, let me see his face. Hey, Evan, how's your new stroller? Oh, you're telling that dog to be quiet? No. No. 